Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to enable Telnet on the Avaya VSP9000 chassis. On the VSP9000, the Telnet service will allow you to access the system remotely with the terminal emulator. You can perform all configuration tasks on the VSP9000 accessing the CLI via Telnet. By default, the Telnet daemon on the VSP9000 is disabled for security purposes. You should always use Telnet in a secure network environment such as a local management LAN that is not accessible via the internet. In our example, we will log into the system with read write all privileges and enter configuration mode. We'll change the boot config Telnet D flag and set that to true. This will enable the Telnet daemon to start once the system reboots. We'll view the new boot flag settings to verify our changes. We'll save the new boot config settings using the save config command. And finally, we'll reboot the system to enable the Telnet service. In our example, we'll log into the console with the read write all user account and enter configuration mode by hitting enable and then finally config and hitting enter at the terminal prompt. Now we'll set the boot config telnet flag to true with the following command. This will enable the telnet daemon once the system reboots. Now we'll verify our changes with the show boot config flags command. As we can see here, our telnet d flag is now set to true. Now let's save our new boot flag settings with the save config command. Finally, we'll reboot the system to enable the telnet service using the reset command. Once the system completes the reset, it will come up with the Telnet service running and ready to accept Telnet connections. As you can see, enabling Telnet on the Avaya VSP9000 chassis is a quick and easy process. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.